Hello guys, welcome to SWK Tutorials. Today, you will learn how to set up depth of field in renders using 3ds Max and V-Ray. So, what is depth of field? Depth of field is used to focus a part of a scene and defocus blurs the rest of the scene. There are two ways we can create depth of field effect. Number one, render Z depth pass using render elements and then use that in a post production application. Number two, use V-Ray camera built in depth of field functionality to render physically accurate depth of field effect. In this video, I will teach you the second method which is more physically accurate and make a separate tutorial for Z-Depth Path. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, look at the scene setup. Here's my camera. This is my first car and this is my house. You can see the distance and my background is a lot back than this. As far as the lighting is concerned, I have used a simple dome light, V-Ray dome light with HDRI. Nothing fancy other than that. Before we turn on depth of field, just take a render for comparison. Save the render. Now select V-Ray Physical Camera. Creating depth of field is a four step process. Number one, enable depth of field. Number two, specify the object to focus. I want to focus this blue car. To do so, I will go to top viewport. Go to create, helpers, click on tape. Click here and drag it till here. My distance is approximately 21.11 means 22 fit. Right now I am working in fit. So I will come here. Again, I will select my camera, modify panel and I will turn on focus distance and enter 22 fit here. Again render. I can't see any visible depth of field right now. Why? The reason for this is that the F number also known as aperture its value is too large right now. Remember one thing understand the concept the value I use can be different in your renders. Step 3. Change the F number. Large F number produces large depth of field which you can see in this render. The depth of field is so large that the house is in focus and it's not blurred. A smaller F number produces small depth of field which is actually what we want here. So, decrease your F number to 1.8 and select a small region and start interactive rendering. When you decrease F number, the light increases. Step 4 change shutter speed or ISO. There are two ways we can correct this light. Increase shutter speed or decrease ISO. I normally increase my shutter speed. So increase the shutter speed from 200 to 4000. I have already tested this value so I know it will come correct on this. Now stop and do your full render. You can see the blue car is in focus while the house is blurred. We can also compare it with our previous image. 
this was my initial image with no depth of field and this is my new result. You can see the house is defocused. If you want this house to be more blurred or defocused, then again, decrease your F number to this time 0.5 and start interactive rendering. Increase your shutter speed to let's say this time it's 50,000 and now my light intensity is OK. Stop it, disable it and do a full render. The house is more blurred now or defocused and the car is in focus. Now I want to change the focus from car to house. To do this, again go to your top viewport. Make sure tape is selected. Click here, drag it to your house. It's approximately 122 or you can say 123 fit. So I will now select my with a physical camera, I will go to modify and enter or change my focus distance from 22 to 123 fit and render again. First I will save my this render and now I will render again. Now you can see that my focus has been changed to house and this car is defocused. Save the render and compare. The car is in focus. Now the house is in focus. Hopefully this tutorial is helpful for you guys. If you like this tutorial, give it a like. If you love this tutorial, subscribe to my channel, share my videos. Keep creating guys. Bye bye.